So if you frequent my channel, you know I'm always talking about the latest and greatest from Apple, like the iPad Air 4 that we have right here, the iPad Pro models, M1 Max, iPhone 12, etc., etc. the usual, right? But like many of you, I have been an Apple user, a passionate one, for more than half of my life, for several years, a decade and some years, and that's why I've recently decided to start collecting old Apple products. As you can see here, I have an array of iPhones from the 2G to the 5S so far. I have an iPad mini box over there, but we're not gonna touch on those. Uh, let me know if you want me to touch on them, but in this video, I wanna go over a product that I recently picked up off of eBay, Sealed, and it's pretty special because this generation of iPad is the first one, I just tripped on my chair, is the first one that I actually got to use on a daily basis. Before I had this iPad, I could only dream of having one. You know, I always wanted one since the first generation, of course, but this was the first one that was kind of mine. This was my family's iPad. Not this literal one, but this model. And again, I bought it sealed. And it is the iPad Air. Hopefully the box can stay open here. It's kind of hard to do this one-handed, but as you can see, it is sealed. Hopefully this is legitimate. If it's not, this video won't go up. So if you're seeing it, it wasn't you know, a scam, but let me see if I can pull this out of the box here, or this nicely packaged FedEx box here. So here we have it. It's white. It has the iOS 7 firmware, as you can see on here, which is super exciting. I love old Apple products with original firmware. It is the 16 gig Wi-Fi variant. And today I'm really excited to unbox this again, seven years later in full 4K or whatever scale of resolution I post this video in. So without wasting any more time, let's jump into things here. So here we have this sealed packaging. I'm mostly kidding because I feel like scammers would focus more on the original iPad as that's more valuable to collectors and it's you know a more iconic and revolutionary tablet as well in the grand scheme of things. But this iPad again is special to me as it was my first. And as you can see, I got it in the white and silver color, mostly because I already own a space gray one in the 128 gig variant. That was my family's iPad. That was pretty much mine. <laughs> I'm, I'm calling it mine because I just stole it from my family basically. But I got this in the white because this is the first First one that showed up on screen during Apple's keynotes and it also showed up in their product trailers. And uh, yeah, let's slice open the seven year old plastic here. The box is in pristine condition, which gives me, you know, hope that it's real, but you know, we'll find out here. So it just feels wrong doing this, you know, it feels like I'm desecrating an antique artifact, but you know, I think it's worth more, you know, if you can actually interact with it and use it and enjoy it especially with the original firmware, which I hope that we can boot up today uh, if the battery isn't shot to hell, but we'll see. So let's continue to get the plastic off here neatly. So I removed it in this rectangle here. I'll probably put that back in the box. We'll put my box cutter away here and flip this around to reveal the iPad Air. All right, here we go. And that looks legit to me. The plastic looks a little bit crinkled, but it is kind of like I remember, if not exactly like I remember, although I unboxed a black one. And this was, again, seven years ago. So uh, let's move the iPad over to the side here and look at the accessories real quick. So we have the lightning cable, which I won't touch. We have a little iPad brick, which I won't touch. Uh, and I will also open this up for probably the last time here. I don't want to mess up the packaging or the, excuse me, the little literature pertaining to the product in here, as Detroit Borg would say. So we have the iPad Air sort of how-to guide. We have iPad info, and we have Apple stickers. So neat, just like I remember. You know, I, honestly, I, <laughs> I have pictures of the unboxing, but I don't like remember it vividly. Um, but anyway, I, it's really nice to be able to do this right now, many years later. So let's take the plastic off here, oh God. So satisfying, but like, ah, hurts me a little bit. So let's put this back in the box, put the plastic back in there as well. And uh, yeah, here is the tablet in absolutely pristine condition as it should be. It's brand new here. And you know what? I think I'm gonna lower the ISO on my camera because as you can see, this is totally overexposed. So I've adjusted my camera and my lights. Hopefully things are looking better here. But yeah, this was and still is a very pretty tablet. It took after the iPad mini and it brought smaller side bezels to the full size iPad form factor, a big upgrade from the bigger, chunkier iPad 2, 3, and 4 form factors. And of course the original iPad form factor as well. Comes in at 7.5 millimeters thick. Uh, identical to the iPad 8th gen. The iPad 8th gen and the iPad, you know, 7th gen and 6th gen take after this tablet. This was the template. And of course, you know, there are elements of iPad Air 2 in here, like the speaker grills and the camera cutout and, you know, no 
uh, mute switcher or whatever. But this again was the template. This was the Django Fett of the iPad Airs and the current baseline iPads, if you will here. So yeah, with all of that said, let's see if it turns on after all these years. I doubt it, but if it does, that would be amazing. And clearly the battery is completely dead. But the question is, does it just need to be plugged in or am I totally screwed and do I need to take this to a repair shop? So I guess we'll have to find out. Well, I plugged it in and so far I think it's charging. Thank God that means that I have to just wait here and then I can demo the original iOS 7 firmware on here. I'm super, super excited. So fortunately for everyone, mostly me though, this iPad decided to charge up a little bit after sitting for seven years in its box. And I think we have just enough charge to do a quick demo here. And first up, let's go to the iOS 7 setup screen. This is so cool, just like I remember it, or kind of remember it, you know, all the way back in sixth or seventh grade when I got this iPad here. And this was a huge design jump, as we know, uh, compared to the previous operating system that was standard on iPads, iOS 6, which I have installed on this iPad mini here, which of course was the sort of design template for this tablet to begin with. And yeah, huge, huge aesthetic change. I know a lot of people didn't like it at first. A lot of people loved it, but this was pretty controversial. But yeah, this I think was the first step towards a more modern iPad, especially the ones like the iPad 8th gen and 7th gen. I mean, like I said, this really does take after this. And of course the general UI elements haven't changed too much since 2013. But anyway, let's get through the setup here. So I'll slide to setup. We'll choose English. My region is the United States. All right, I skipped the boring part of the setup, which actually didn't take too long, and let's get started. I'm disappointed. <laughs> I am a bit disappointed. Yeah. Oh, hey, it's Noah from the future shooting at a horrific upward angle because his room's a mess and his hair is a mess as well, but that doesn't matter. Um, with a better explanation about what the hell I did. So um, this box does have 2013 on it, which made me think that this was really original. However, the front um, sort of has a different story. The original boxes had the iOS space wallpaper on the home screen. This is clearly white. And uh, yeah, I didn't know about that. This was a little bit cheaper than the other ones as well. Um, other ones were going for like 500. So this was going for like 200-ish. And I was like, oh my God, I have to get my hands on this. This is a steal. So yeah, I made a bit of a mistake. However, this is once again, pretty close to stock. It even has the like the original red uh, music logo, which is why I thought it was iOS 7. But long story short here, uh, yeah, it's not quite original, but close enough for me, close enough to, you know, the budget I was willing to spend on it. And uh, yeah, I just thought I would say that before anybody calls me a fraud or a liar or whatever, who even knows, people sometimes take that seriously. But um, yeah, let's continue with the demo here. This is not iOS 7. As you can see, this is indeed uh, probably iOS 8 iOS 8.4, okay. Interesting, so this, hmm. Well, the box has the original iOS 7 screenshot on there, which is why I was so excited. Um, there's two explanations to this. Either Apple shipped this in this box, this old box, which has 2013 on it, uh, you know, new with new firmware on it later, but anyway, let's uh, set the wallpaper to what it would have been at this point, this iOS 7 wallpaper. And uh, we can pretend like the music app is, you know, different and also, you know, that the uh, iMessage and the FaceTime icons are a little bit more green. That's how I remember it. But this is what it would have looked like, basically. I mean, iOS 8 is very similar to iOS 7, you know, in terms of font, in terms of the aesthetic, um, in terms of the control center here, although it's a little bit less transparent and a little bit more opaque in iOS 8 here. So, I mean, at least this operating system isn't like, I don't know, iOS 11 or something later that looks a bit different. But yeah, this is what it would look like. We can pull down the notification pane here. Uh, we can allow weather to analyze what the weather's gonna be like. We got the keyboard happening here. And of course, all the app icons are big. Uh, they're much bigger than they are in iPadOS. Uh, I don't even think this iPad can run iPadOS. Maybe iPadOS 
iOS 13? Uh, I'll check, but yeah, this is very much an older iPad operating system, even though, you know, the UI looks very similar to today, you know, the app icons haven't changed too much. I mean, you know, this is no iPad OS. This was basically a blown up iPhone here. So we can open up Safari, you know, maybe load up Apple's website here. And it's funny because like, you know, like when you think about all the devices, you think about how the newer firmware sort of bogs them down, how they're slower, but this feels really snappy. And yeah, I remember just being so excited to have something bigger than my iPod touch at the time. And then eventually my iPhone 4S and then iPhone 5S that I would have. So the website has loaded up here, kind of. Uh, we can also toggle Siri. What's the weather like today? So yeah, I mean, it looked the same in iOS 7, I'm pretty sure. So we're getting a pretty, you know, to date sort of experience here, hopefully. Um, let's open up, I don't know, photos. We got no photos in here, so there's nothing to really show. Let's try opening the app store to see if it actually works. So here we are, uh, we can, I don't know, let's try to maybe download an app. I'll sign in. You know, it's funny and also kind of annoying. If you wanna sign into iTunes on an older device, like pre iOS 10, you'll get a you know verification notice on like a newer device. And if you wanna sign in, you have to like type the verification numbers after your password because iOS 7 and iOS 8 did not, you know, accommodate an entry for such a thing. So I'm gonna do that right now. I took a little picture of it. Uh, like it's sort of like flashed on my other device, which is so annoying. So you have to be really vigilant about doing this. But yeah, I'll enter it here. And after 15 times, times of trying this, I think I successfully signed in. So now I'm gonna to go to my purchases so I can hopefully download an older app. So I'll scroll down here and see what I first downloaded. So we got Fruit Ninja Classic. Let's see if we can download that. Possibly, hopefully, who knows? It's gonna say like, oh, it does, doesn't support this version of iOS. It's downloading, cool. Lance, yes, let's try this one. One of my favorite games. Let's see if Doodle Jump is there. Doodle Jump HD, okay. Cut the rope, of course. I'm mostly concerned with games. Um, yeah, download an older version of the app, thank you. Minecraft, yep, there it is. Download an older version. Let's see if YouTube, we can do YouTube. Studio, watch, listen, download an older version. So let's let these download real quick here. All right, so we already have Fruit Ninja loaded up. Oh yeah, so download older version. Let's open up Fruit Ninja. I was playing this game last night on an iPhone 3GS and I was having the time of my life, so I can't wait to play it on a bigger screen. <laughs> I'm just getting into it. Getting all elegant, you know? I'm getting mad elegant. Turn the volume down a little bit. Ooh. Two in a row, look at that. Another two. Oh, ooh, 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 that was almost bad. Oh, yes. <laughs> See, I, I get into this game, guys. It's still fun. All these are later here. So anyway, uh, I'm gonna like slice a bomb here so we can move on, but uh, yeah. Oh, yep, so. Oh, I lose, oh no. Game over, so pretty fun. Let's try, uh, how about the Moron Test 2? <laughs> what? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, no, no, I'm not this dumb. I'm not. I, I'm not. I'm. How many times is this in this sentence? Hold the red button down until you stop when I green light. All right, yeah, that's the that's the moron test here. Uh, Paper toss, another great one by Backflip Studios. All right. Uh, In-app purchase is wonderful. Shh, stop. I don't care about Game Center. Leave me alone. Well, my camera overheated and I just finished up with a Zoom call meeting. So here we are back in iOS 7. Um, we were gonna play Paper Toss. So let's open that up again here. So cancel, stop. <sighs> okay, so we're gonna quit. 
this app. Look at the app switcher. Oh my goodness, it's so much different compared to the iPad OS one. Yeah, here's the app switcher in iOS 7 slash 8, and here it is with iPad OS. What's great about this is obviously it makes better use of the display here. You have more windows open, but here, I mean, it's full blown iOS. It's full blown iPhone. Apple didn't quite realize just how big this 9.7 inch display is. So nice to see, you know, the progression here, but you know, nostalgic nonetheless, I'm really happy using this device, even though it's not quite original firmware, I'm a little bit disappointed about that, but uh, yeah, let's try opening Paper Toss again, or is it gonna require me to, yep, yeah, okay. So let's quit that app by swiping up. Let's open this up again. Yeah, there we are, so we gotta like, oops, okay, well. Oh, shut up. There we are, okay. That was too much. Uh, oh, All right, I'm good, anyway. Um, Beyond that, let's try Doodle Jump. I'm gonna save the best for last, which is Plants vs. Zombies, but yeah, I enjoyed playing this on here on a big screen, so I am 20 years old. Some people think I'm older. Uh, without a beard, I definitely look six years younger. Uh, so let's do that. Oh. And you know, I'm playing these pretty basic games, but the A7 was really powerful for its time. It was the first 64-bit Apple Silicon processor, so playing games like Infinity Blade and some racing games and other stuff with more intense graphics was a real treat. But of course, these more classic games run really well. Uh, we got Cut the Rope here. Oh, so cool. That doesn't launch Minecraft. How about that? Um, did that just crash too? All right, let's... Please, please, please. Okay, it's not crashing, it's not crashing. So, PBZ really wants to be played, apparently. This is probably my favorite mobile game of all time. It was the first one I got on my iPod Touch. It was the one I remember playing on older iPod Touches and iPhones. And yeah, I, I just started getting back into this. The first game is the best, don't at me. I never played the second one. I never played the third one, which is awful. This is great. So, you know, I'm just gonna be, you know, I don't know, opinionated about that. I try to be pretty objective about everything else, but this game in its original form here is great. So let's do that. The music, everything just mwah. Are coming. Yep. Just like I remember. All right, so enough with that here. Right, let's try opening up YouTube and see what this is like. If it doesn't crash, uh, hopefully not. Okay, so continue as guest, and hopefully I'm not scratching up this brand new iPad either. Uh, error loading, trending. Let's try looking up my channel. Well, um, apparently this app doesn't work anymore, so that's great. Um, let's look at some of the stock apps here, like the Notes app, for example. I mean, you know, it's come such a long way, especially with the introduction of the Apple Pencil with the iPad uh, 6th generation, or the iPad Pro for that matter, but the 6th gen was the first regular size iPad to uh, support it. But yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, let's just take a look here. So you can draw with the Apple Pencil. Of course, I don't have one on hand, but yeah, this was basic. All you could do was type back then, but of course you have the option to add a picture, you have an option to use your finger to draw, a whole plethora of different tools right here. Maybe I can show you them if the screen wasn't super bright, but yeah, there we go here. It's definitely come a long way, and of course, you know, we have Touch ID here as well, but that's not the point. Um, so yeah, uh, the Notes app here, which is a huge part of iPad now, you know, iPad culture, at least with regards to, um, you know, note taking for school and stuff, something I always cover, way, way different. And thankfully for the sake of authenticity, it still asks you to slide to unlock here, just like on previous iOS versions, like iOS 6 and 5 and 4, you know, on older iPads like this iPad mini here, unlike the newer versions of iOS and iPadOS, which ask you to push home to unlock here or just tap the Touch ID sensor. Uh, so yeah, that about wraps up this video here. I'm just gonna do the outro here. I hope it was enjoyable. Like I said, I don't think I got scammed and I'm really happy to have this, you know, iPad Air in perfect working order or condition, you know, with the exception of the smudges and maybe the micro abrasions that I added to it here. But yeah, this was a treat nonetheless. It's nice to open an old Apple product. I mean, hopefully I wasn't scammed, but you know, I will say if iOS 7 was listed in the eBay listing, I will be returning this. But if not, I have a nice, you know, $200 perfect condition iPad Air 
to add to my collection. And you know, for the most part, it is, you know, just like it would have been back in 2013 when I was, you know, in seventh or eighth grade. And uh, yeah, we've come quite a long way here, especially compared to the iPad Pro, but this was the stepping stone and it is still the template once again for tablets like the iPad eighth gen and even uh, the beginning of the iPad Pro, which came out in 2015. So two years after this tablet. I lied, I'm doing the outro here. I hope this video was fun, educational, nostalgic. I honestly like old Apple products just as much, if not more, than the new ones here. I'm a very nostalgic person. It's so great to go back and reflect on the devices that I grew up with and know and love. The iPad Air is certainly an important one in the progression of iPad as well. And yeah, let me know if you wanna see more on, you know, vintage, you know, like vintage is a fun word. You know, these devices are not that old in retrospect, but with regard to just the world of technology and how far things have come, you know, like the iPhone 3GS, for example, is considered old, I would say. Although I know many of you in the audience used one, I certainly remember them and wanted one. And it's been so fun to play around with this, playing old games and stuff. So let me know if you wanna see more stuff like this. I might make a new channel just for retro Apple tech or like a TikTok. I don't know. We'll see. But anyway, uh, leave a like if you like the video, comment if you have any questions, suggestions, or opinions, and of course, subscribe for more content like this. And as always, I'm Noah, and I will catch you all in the next one.